Hello everyone, AWS Firewall Manager allows you to centrally configure and manage firewall rules across your accounts and applications in AWS organizations. Today, I will show you how you can use AWS Firewall Manager to reference security groups in the peer VPC to enhance your application protection. AWS Firewall Manager simplifies your administration and maintenance tasks across multiple accounts and resources for a variety of protections, including AWS WAF, AWS Shield Advanced, Amazon VPC security groups, AWS Network Firewall, and Amazon Route 53 Resolver DNS Firewall. With Firewall Manager, you will set up your protections just once, and the service automatically applies them across your accounts and resources, even as you add new accounts and resources. You can use AWS Firewall Manager security group policies to manage Amazon Virtual Private Cloud security groups for your organization in AWS organizations. You can apply centrally controlled security group policies to your entire organization or to a select subset of your accounts and resources. You can monitor and manage the security group policies that are in use in your organization with auditing and usage security group policies. AWS Firewall Manager support for referencing of security groups provides the ability to update the inbound or about outbound rules for Firewall Manager's primary security groups to reference security groups in the peered VPC. So this allows traffic to flow to and from instances that are associated with the reference security group in the peered VPC. For this demo, we have an administrator account that contains a web application with inbound access to a database in the same VPC. The administrator would like to ensure that as they continue to scale the environment, additional member accounts with an established peer VPC connection can receive inbound access from the application in the administrator account. The creation of reference security groups is a manual task that can become tedious as you scale your environment. With Firewall Manager, you can create security group common policies that will distribute security group references from the primary security group to the security groups created by the policy, allowing you to automatically scale reference security groups based on the desired requirements. And now let's switch over to the console for the demo. So here we are within the AWS console, and currently we are looking at the administrator account. So as you see that we have two security groups. So we have the one security group associated with the database in the administrator account, and the second one that is associated with the application running in the administrator account. We do want to take note of this security group name that we've been provided. So as we go through the steps of setting up the policy, this is what we will use to notate um, which security groups we are rep replicating um, for the reference security group policy. If we go to the member account, we have one security group, and this is the security group associated with the database running in the member account. So now let's go over to Firewall Manager to create the policy to create the reference security group that will allow this database to receive inbound traffic from the application running in the admin account. Now we'll navigate to AWS Firewall Manager select create policy. So first thing you want to note is that you want to ensure that you are in the correct region. I am running this demo in US East 1, so there are no changes that I need to make there. Um, under AWS services, select security group. Then under security group policy type, select common security groups. Now select next. For policy name, we can do demo reference security group. And for policy rules, we want to select distribute security group references from primary security group to the security groups created by this policy. Um, so I do want to note that Firewall Manager uh, will only distribute the security group references if they have an active peering connection in Amazon VPC. Now, next, we want to select the primary security groups that we will be distributing these references for. We can select add security groups and these as note, noted previously, we want this demo app security group as well as these demo DB, the database security group from the administrator account. And now we can add. 
under policy action, we will leave this as default. Um, it's recommended to leave it as default when you're first creating a policy because you want to be able to assess the effects of your new policy before you apply it. Now, after the policy has been created, you've been able to assess and confirm that it's to your liking, then you can go back and enable automatic remediation. Now let's select next. So first under policy scope, we want to um, decide how we want to include the accounts um, for this policy. You can either by default include all accounts in your organization. You do have the option to include only specified accounts in organizational units. So if you go to edit list, um, we will only select our administrator and member account and we can select save. You also have the option to only include specific organizational units if that's more fitting um, and if your accounts are categorized in organizational units and that's easier for you to set how you want to apply the policy, you can do that as well. You also have the option to exclude only specific accounts and organizational units. So this would be a good option if like you have more accounts that you want to include then exclude then you can do that as well for resource type um, these are associated with ec2 instances so we are going to select ec2 instance um, and then from there we have the ability to choose to include all elastic network interfaces in each amazon ec2 instance or just a default interface in each ec2 instance so if you have more than one elastic network interface in any in scope amazon ec2 instance choosing the option to include all interfaces will allow firewall manager to apply the policy to all of them next we have resources um, so for this section um, you can just decide what resources in your account that you want to have the policy apply to um, we are going to include all resources um, that match the selected resource type that we chose in above which is ec2 instance but you can also include or exclude specific resources you can also use tagging to specify those resources and then choose the appropriate option and add the tags to the list so you can apply the policy either to all resources, except those that have all the tags that you specify, or you can apply it to only those that have the tags that you specify. Under shared VPC, this is if you want to apply the policy to resources in shared VPCs, um, in addition to the VPCs that the accounts own. We are going to leave everything else as default and select next. We will not add any tags for this demo, select next, and we will confirm that everything uh, we have selected is to our liking. And create policy, right? And then we have confirmation that the policy has been created. Now let's go over to the member account to see if that reference security groups have been created. This will take a while. So we're going to, I'll pause the video and then we'll hop on when the um, security groups have been created. Oh, and they are already there. So no need to pause the video. Awesome. Uh, so as we can see, we selected to have um, duplicative um, security groups for the database as well as the application. So here we can see that we have a security group allowing inbound access uh, to, the, to the database as well as inbound access to the application. So allowing this uh, database the ability to pull information from the application running in the administrator account. In this video, we discussed how you can use AWS Firewall Manager to reference security groups in peered VPC to enhance your application protection. If you'd like to learn more, navigate to www.aws.amazon.com forward slash firewall manager.